to anyone that was planning to do this with their cat or dog or any animal, I don't recommend. I <laughs> thought this would be easy because Luna was participating with me, cooperating, um, and now she's just being a little shit. Hello, my name is Alex. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my June TBR. I'm going to try to participate in all of the readathons. Everyone that I mention will be linked down below. And I have a twist. So if you saw the title, my cat is going to pick my TBR. I've seen this around. I think it was just a trend in May to have your animals pick your TBR. I saw my reading as odd do this and a few others. So I'll link some more down below because they're so cute. Somebody actually did their goats pick their TBR and I highly recommend that one because it was so funny and really adorable. So definitely go to my description before you leave this video and check out some of those. So I have a few options. I'm not going to have Luna pick all of my TBR because it's just going to be a big mess. Um, so I'm going to give her some options. So I'm just going to describe the video as I go. So let's get started. If you enjoy this, give it a thumbs up and let's get started. So before Luna picks my TBR, I want to mention some of the books I want to read for Pride Month. June is Pride Month. First, I'm going to mention the books I want to read for Queer Lit Readathon. This starts on June 2nd and it ends June 8th. It is a bingo board just to read queer books. So I don't have like a specific idea of how I want to win the bingo board. I'm just going to read the books that I want to read for the challenges. So the first challenge I want to try and complete is to read a book with a trans main character and I chose Peter Darling by Austin Enchant. I started this for Readerama in March and I just never got around to finishing it. It sounds so good. It is a trans retelling of Peter Pan and it's like Peter Pan as Wendy. Um, and Austin Chant is a trans guy, and so am I. So this is own voices for me. This can also go for the see yourself challenge where you see yourself in a book and this applies. I'm a trans guy and I never see myself in books, so thank you to Austin Chant for writing books like this. Next is to read a book with Rainbow on the cover, and this is so perfect. I have George by Alex Gino. There is a rainbow all on the cover and I can't wait to read this. I recently hauled this. You can watch it up here. I went to a queer bookstore and I picked this up. I am so excited to read this. I have a lot of small books on my TBR just so I can fly through them in the week. And this is also about a trans character or just a kid trying to figure out their gender. We've got a lot of trans stuff on this. Next is to read a middle grade and George could work for this but I have one True Way by Shannon Hitchcock. This is about a girl who realizes that she likes girls. It sounds so cute. I started a little bit of it, but I never got around to finishing it. So let's hope I finish it. The last challenge I want to try and complete is to read a queer nonfiction book. And I actually have a couple here on my shelves, but I actually just picked up two. So I have Not Just a Tomboy by Jasper J. Baldwin, and this is a nonfiction about a trans guy. And then I have Would You Rather by Katie Heaney, which I've been meaning to finish. And this is about her figuring out her sexuality. She actually just got married and it's so cute. I love her and I did like when I was reading this. I just need to finish it. That's what's happening this week for the Queer lit a -thon. It's just to finish all the queer books that I started and haven't finished. And for a bonus, I have to read a new author. I don't know if this author is queer, so please let me know in the comments. Um, and I'll just change my TBR, like change where I put it on the board, whatever. But this is the book that I have not read yet and everyone is gonna be super happy but this is just me saying I'm gonna read it, so who knows if I'm gonna read it yet, but this is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And guess what? I started this and I haven't finished it. So <laughs> that is my TBR. I know that this book is a lot of queer booktubers' favorite books. So that is my TBR for the Queer Lit Readathon. Links are down below. And now Luna's gonna pick my TBR for the Buzzwordathon and for the summer a thon. So the Buzzword a thon is created by Books and Lala and it is running from June 12th to June 18th. And the buzzword is you. So you can do you, your, you'll, you'd, whatever. I think most of my TBR just has the word you. So Luna is gonna go and pick and then I'll come back 
and review. So for round one, for Buzzwordathon, I have Listen to Your Heart by Casey West and I'll Give You This Song by Jandy Nelson. Um, both have You or Your. So we're gonna have Luna pick. I'm gonna read I'll Give You the Sun then. It's for Pride Month, so good girl. So next I have Where'd You Go, Bernadette? And You Asked for Perfect by Laura Silverman. Um, let's see. Luna. Ready? Are you ready? One here or one here? No, stop eating the one that's closer. <laughs> stop eating the one that's closer. You have to pick, you silly. So I guess I'm reading US for perfect. Thanks. And the last ones I have Someone Like You by Sarah Dessen and I Wish You All the Best by Mason Dever. She's literally right here. Hi. Go ahead. Come on. Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? Come on, have no day. Come on, you wanted a treat before you were doing good. A few moments later. That's all right. Yes. Eat that one. Eat it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Congratulations. Good job. Good. Good girl. And ending the month, I have the Summerathon, which I saw on the Bookable channel, so everything for that will be linked down below. I'm so excited about this. The challenges are fun, and I am just so hype. So Luna's also going to pick these, but I have some that I picked myself. So you'll see Luna, and then you'll see me. A2. There's two. <laughs> <laughs> I just want books okay. That wasn't very effective. So, since Luna picked two books instead of one, I'm actually just going to go with the first one, which was the summer days and summer nights. So, clarification for that. later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one.
Good girl. Thank you for picking the book that I really wanted. So I'm actually going to pick the books for the last two challenges. The last two challenges are to read a book that involves travel or vacation. And this book is one that I've been meaning to get to and I can't believe I haven't read it yet. But this is Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. This is about a girl whose father is sick and they go to the cabin for the last time or the lake house. And apparently it's really sad. I can't believe I haven't gotten to this already, but I'm very excited to read it. And last is to read a book with food on the cover. And I chose like a summery treat. So I have two books that have ice cream on them. So I'm gonna pick these for myself. It's just basically which one I can get from the library quicker. So the first book I have is Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welsh. And this book is set in Italy and I've always wanted to read it, but I never got a chance to and it has ice cream on the cover. So we're doing it. Or maybe I guess it has gelato on the cover. Yeah, probably. And last I have The Unlikelies by Carrie Firestone and I've been wanting to read this too. It looks like a cool cover. I don't know much about it but I think last year on booktube it was talked about a lot. So we'll see which one I get from the library. Um, both sound really good so I'm excited for either. So that was my June TBR. I have a lot of reading to do so I need to end this video right now so I can go and read because it's the first week of June and I'm already behind. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up and if you're new here go and to subscribe. I make bookish videos with a twist every Wednesday and maybe I post a bonus video if I have extras that I want to post. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. Bye.